Dear friends, it's now time to turn our attention to the skies, and therefore it is my great honor to welcome to the stage the Chief Executive Officer of the Flight Business Group at Trip.com Group, Dr. Yu Dongtan. He'll be sharing today an in-depth outlook on Trip's flight business from a China-centric perspective, covering domestic recovery, cross-border flight forecasts, our strategic focus, and ways that we can aim to empower our valued partners. Ladies and gentlemen, please now welcome Dr. Yu Dongtan. Welcome. Good morning, uh, everyone. I'm so uh, excited to see a lot of our friends are coming from the uh, overseas. It has been uh, like more than uh, three years. So um, uh, a moment ago, James already approved uh, why uh, travel is unique in a very logical way from an economist's point of view. So before I started my uh, uh, presentation, I would like to share a story to uh, demonstrate that travel is important from a layman's uh, point of view. So um, about three months ago, in early uh, June, I went to uh, London Heathrow to attend an event hosted by uh, uh, China Southern Airlines. Uh, the event is to uh, celebrate their first flight from uh, Beijing Daxing Airport to uh, Heathrow. So uh, during this event, uh, a British man uh, came to me and, and talked to me. And he said, wow, I haven't seen uh, so many Chinese for many years. How come you guys are so tall? <laughs> you are going to uh, take over the world. I was uh, kind of surprised. How come? First, we, we definitely we don't want to uh, take over the world, right? But second, Chinese cannot like, travel abroad only for three years, not three decades. How come the British people already forgot how tall Chinese are? <laughs> Maybe Ray is tall in Chinese, but I'm not so tall. So you see how travel is important, right? Without travel, like, there will be a lot of um, uh, mis- uh, understanding, misperception. So um, I don't know if uh, travel can promote uh, a world peace or not, but definitely uh, by traveling, um, like people uh, in, uh, from different countries and uh, a different culture can understand each other better. So today I'm going to uh, share uh, our thoughts on the future of the uh, uh, flight business, especially in this uh, post-COVID era. Uh, first, I'm, I'm going to talk about uh, market trends. Uh, so uh, in this um, uh, new world, we're going to face a lot of uh, new challenges as well as a lot of uh, new opportunities. And then how can we overcome those um, challenges and then uh, capture those um, opportunities? And then uh, we can set ourselves apart from the uh, competition. First, let's look at the um, recovery of the uh, global airline industry. So according to the uh, data published by the uh, IATA, uh, the global airline industry already uh, rebounded almost to the same level as uh, 2019. Uh, in terms of the profit and revenue, it already exceeded 2019 by a very large margin. Uh, uh, not, not 20, uh, by the, uh, exceeded the uh, forecast by a large margin. The number of passengers already are close to the uh, 2019 level, as well as um, a lot of factors. So uh, the uh, uh, picture here shows the um, recovery in different engines, uh, different regions. So uh, except uh, uh, Asia is still a little bit behind, but most of the um, regions around the world already either uh, recovered to the same level or already exceeded uh, 2019 level. Uh, if we look at the um, uh, China uh, cross-border uh, flight market, it is, it is um, uh, still a little bit behind, especially the flights between uh, China and um, uh, North America region. So recently, uh, China and the United States announced the plan to uh, increase the uh, number of flights in September and uh, October. Even with that, uh, the number of flights only recovered to probably a, a 12% as compared to a, a 2019 level. Uh, then uh, uh, the uh, chi China domestic market is a different story. So uh, as most of you um, um, already know, uh, the, the first half of this year, accommodation, dining, and the transportation industry in China lead the um, uh, economic growth. And then uh, uh, if we look at the flights, actually uh, 
uh, the number of passengers already uh, exceeded 2019 level by 12% in this July. That, that is um, <clears throat> uh, together with the average price 20% higher than the uh, uh, 2019 level. So uh, it's a pretty good business, right? Uh, so one, one, uh, one concern is that because um, uh, I know um, um, a lot of you uh, uh, have um, concerns about the uh, China economy because uh, it performance not as uh, strong as expected. So is this trend uh, sustainable? Uh, so we, uh, we look at the uh, search volume of flights on the trip.com platform uh, for the um, uh, next uh, uh, three months. We already uh, touched upon that. We see um, uh, a big increase in terms of the um, uh, search volume in the um, uh, next three months. So we believe this uh, trend of growth uh, can continue. That's a good sign. Uh, so now, another question we want to ask ourselves is that in the future, where's the growth uh, coming from? So if we look at our business in trip.com, we have um, uh, three sections, China domestic, uh, China cross-border, and uh, overseas. So uh, China mainland domestic market is um, uh, very much mature. It is, um, uh, the, the online penetration is already very high, and also uh, it is um, uh, kind of uh, regulated. It will grow, but probably at a moderate pace. But the overseas market is very uh, promising. So uh, this year, either the share of the overseas um, uh, flight business or the absolute number of segments uh, from the uh, overseas um, markets actually uh, grows uh, significantly. The number of bookings from uh, overseas markets actually grew by uh, more than 100%. Uh, so clearly, our growth in the future will come from um, a globalization. Another part is um, uh, China mainland uh, cross border. It is a little bit behind. It only recovered to the uh, uh, roughly uh, 55 or 60 percent in terms of the market capacity. We already recovered to probably 80, 90 percent on average. So uh, that means there's still a large room to grow in the future. Of course, we are going to face a lot of um, uh, challenges as well as a lot of opportunities. First. Let's talk, uh, take a look from the uh, uh, supplier side. So Trip.com actually provide a platform for both domestic suppliers and overseas suppliers. So domestic, China domestic suppliers can use the Trip.com platform to go to global for their future growth. Meanwhile, the overseas suppliers can leverage the growth uh, in China. So, uh, if we look at um, uh, the, the ratio between the um, uh, overseas and um, uh, China cross-border, uh, in, in uh, 2019, probably two out of the uh, three customers on Trip.com platform are, uh, from, the, um, um, from China uh, uh, cross-border, but now it is uh, just completely um, uh, reversed. Now, um, uh, two, uh, two out of the three customers in, trip, uh, in, in trip.com flight actually uh, uh, come from um, overseas. And also, uh, the overseas suppliers uh, contribute more than um, uh, domestic suppliers this year. So the, uh, Chi if a Chinese um, uh, domestic suppliers want to uh, grow uh, well in the future in the overseas market, they need to provide uh, more competitive uh, uh, products. Another challenge, uh, um, so by go, going to a, a global, we will face a lot of challenges. For example, we need to uh, cooperate with uh, local airlines. We need to uh, comply with their regulations. Uh, as you know, there are a lot of uh, innovations in uh, China domestic market, good or bad. When we go to a global, we can leverage our stress in uh, this innovation, but uh, we definitely need to uh, comply with um, uh, local regulations. We need to understand the local demand. Um, another thing I want to uh, highlight is um, LCCs. This year, the share of LCCs in um, Triple.com actually has uh, increased significantly as compared to uh, uh, 2019 because we, uh, uh, we, we grow uh, rapidly 
in uh, regions like um, uh, Europe and uh, APAC, where LCC is actually uh, has a um, higher uh, market share. But LCC is brings a lot of uh, brings new challenges. For example, it is very difficult to get a high quality contents for LCCs. It is very difficult to serve uh, uh, LCC customers. Uh, from the um, custom side, we can also see uh, some uh, challenges. At this moment, we um, uh, provide uh, our products in uh, 24 different languages. Uh, we can support transactions in uh, 29 uh, different currencies. So um, now we, uh, we serve more non-Chinese customers than Chinese customers. That means we need to understand user preference in different markets very well. For example, in some markets, probably uh, the customers prefer um, a lower price, but in other markets, they prefer higher uh, reliability. Uh, and also, just like I said, different, uh, different countries, different regions has uh, different uh, regulations uh, for uh, data privacy, for uh, customer protection. We need to um, uh, understand and also um, and comply with all these um, regulations. Also, it is not so easy to uh, compete with the um, uh, local players. Then, um, now you see we have a lot of uh, challenges, right? That also means a lot of um, uh, new opportunities. Then uh, how, how can we overcome these uh, challenges and then uh, capture those um, uh, opportunities for the growth in the future? Uh, I believe we need to uh, keep investing on the uh, innovations we need to provide high quality products and services to our customers. All these, um, all these innovations, uh, products, services must be driven by the um, uh, technology. By doing so, we can set ourselves apart from the uh, uh, competition. For innovations, uh, some innovations have been uh, uh, demonstrated successful in the uh, China market. For example, live streaming the moments. We can bring that to the uh, global markets very easily. Uh, and also, uh, uh, Jen and Ray already talked a lot about uh, 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 TripGini. We embrace um, uh, new technology like AI uh, very quickly. And also because um, uh, Trip.com is a one-stop shop for all the travel products, so uh, that gave us uh, convenience to uh, combine uh, different transportation uh, methods like uh, flight and train together, or we can provide uh, split tickets for uh, trains and uh, uh, flights. Those are another type of the uh, innovation. There's still a lot of, uh, there are a lot of other uh, innovations. I'm, uh, I, I cannot like, list them, all of them here. Service is always a key cornerstone since um, uh, uh, the first day when uh, Trip.com was uh, established. Um, when we decided to uh, be a global company, we invested a lot on the uh, <coughs> uh, services. We built a lot of uh, uh, call centers around the world um, because we believe we should let uh, uh, local people serve the uh, local customers so that we can uh, provide superior um, custom service experience to our customers. We have a very high standard for customer service, like we want to achieve 90% of the uh, 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 customer uh, inquiries answered within uh, uh, 30 seconds. For flights, actually, we provide instant refund. That's a very good uh, experience because we have a, a very uh, good technology based on the uh, big data. We can understand the risk. We can do a very good um, uh, risk control. And also, we provide a lot of um, uh, other service guarantees. Uh, technology is, uh, is critical to, um, to be cost effective and also achieve the uh, economy of scale for uh, customer service. So far, we can, um, we can fulfill the um, uh, refund, or fulfill 80% uh, of the refund requests automatically, and also uh, complete um, more than 60% of the um, uh, change requests automatically. And also more than 70% of the um, uh, customer calls are served by the uh, chatbot. That saves a lot of um, um, uh, manual efforts. Let's look at um, uh, technology. Technology is our core uh, competence. We are, not, we are not only a travel company, but also a, a technology company, right? We, uh, we build our own uh, world-class uh, flight search engine. We uh, deployed most of our systems to the cloud already, on AWS, 
Ali Cloud and Google Cloud. And also we keep recruiting um, um, global technology talents. Uh, we, we want to uh, collaborate with all the players in the uh, ecosystem, like airlines, airports, GDS, tech companies such as Google and uh, Microsoft. AI has been a hot topic in the past few years, right? We have already adopted uh, AI technology in various uh, places like uh, uh, services, search algorithms, and so on. Well, um, in, uh, um, in this year, we have seen uh, a big breakthrough, in, uh, especially in the uh, generative AI. We already uh, look into how we can adopt a large language model in uh, uh, different uh, scenarios for flights. For example, we can use that in the uh, customer service to support uh, multilingual uh, chat robot. We, we also use uh, LLM to pass the um, uh, flight information so that we can do refund and change automatically. Uh, we can generate the uh, marketing content um, very efficiently. And also we are looking to like how to interact with our, with our customers um, better using the language instead of the uh, graphics, just like uh, uh, Tripgini. Uh, right? So here's the example of the um, uh, AI marketing. Uh, we feed the uh, large language model uh, with uh, like a text, image, flight, fair information, uh, and so on. Then uh, uh, the model can generate uh, like post for flight campaign automatically, and that post will be uh, posted to a lot of uh, social media automatically. That uh, actually improves the uh, campaign efficiency quite a lot. We want to share our uh, technology with our partners. So we, we, we build a, a few of the uh, platforms and the tools. For example, we provide flight AI for uh, data analytics. Uh, on this platform, our partners can, uh, uh, can check the uh, market trend, uh, can um, learn about the user profiles, uh, search index and also uh, uh, do some uh, uh, competition analysis. Also, we build a partner, uh, partner portal, uh, which can be used for uh, uh, operational optimization, for example, like how to define your, uh, how, uh, how to um, decide your price, how to do uh, route planning, um, uh, analyze the sales, and so on. Yeah, uh, I think um, uh, in the uh, previous um, um, uh, talks, um, uh, both uh, Jay and Ray already mentioned our effort on the uh, uh, ESG. In the flight booking flow, we, all, uh, we also provide this um, uh, CO2 offset product, and also we display the information for uh, every flight um, about their um, uh, emissions so that the travelers can choose if they want to uh, uh, travel green or not, right? So flight is... Um, old, but also a new industry. Old because uh, fly actually is, uh, or was, used to be the pioneer to adopt the uh, computer technology. But recently, in the past decade, the uh, fly technology actually uh, evolved much slower than the uh, general computer technology. Um, and that brings a lot of uh, new uh, opportunities for the players who can adopt the uh, new technologies uh, uh, very well. So we would like to work together with our partners to uh, keep um, innovating, to uh, renovate the whole industry and bring the whole industry to a new level. Thank you very much.